I think finishing a through hike is one of the most difficult parts of the through hike itself. My name is Lee from Trailside Fitness and today I'm going to walk you through some really simple things you can do during your hike to make that post trail life much healthier and improve your wellness. Stick around. I'm not a betting man, but I would wager good money that most people who step foot on a long distance trail aren't thinking about their health and wellness at the end of that hike. What happens when you get home? A lot of post-trail depression is very common, and this is something I want to address today. There's Because there's a lot of things you can do during your hike that are going to have a significant impact on your ability to reduce that post-trail depression and set yourself up for success and finish your hike happy and healthy with good general wellness versus one where you kind of come skidding into the finish line and you're, you're, the wheels have fallen off the bus and you're feeling a little bit lost. So let's dive into some of these topics today and see how you can improve your overall through hike experience. The biggest things you can do on trail to impact your um, health and wellness is to really focus on the nutrition piece. This is bar none probably the most important thing you can do. You need uh, really high quality nutrient dense foods to give your body the resources it needs to recover and recuperate and also keep that gut bacteria nice and healthy. This is going to help you out during your hike as well as have a huge impact once you return home. Your emphasis in town should always be to focus on eating foods that your body needs first and not just eating, not fueling your cravings. So don't go for the pizza right away, don't go for the ice cream, don't go for, like, eat those things, absolutely, but first, do your body a solid. Eat some yogurt, drink a kombucha, um, have some sauerkraut, grab some kimchi, grab a salad in a bag, some dark leafy greens, and just mix it in the bag and just eat it straight out of there. Give your body some of what it needs to recoup and recover before you give it all the garbage that you've been dreaming about on trail for the last 10 days. I guarantee you, you're gonna feel better, and over the course of your hike, four or five months, it's gonna to start to have an impact. So definitely pay attention to the foods you're eating on trail as well as off the trail. Uh, serotonin, which is the happy hormone, is produced largely in the gut. Like 90% of this happy hormone comes from your gut, and it's sent up to the brain, which influences mood. It's a huge percentage. And this bacteria also helps to regulate our immune system. So if that bacteria in our gut is not healthy and happy and producing the way it needs to, we're gonna see an increased risk of catching things like the cold or the flu or whatever else might be floating around out there. First and foremost, you're not outside in nature. Uh, research has shown time and time again that even 10 minutes outside can have a significant impact in mood um, and an overall feelings of happiness and wellness. So get outside. It doesn't matter if you're hiking or doing whatever, just get outside, spend a few minutes out there, let the sun hit your face. Um, it's gonna have a big impact on your mood. Second thing, we're not exercising nearly as much as we did on the trail. Endorphins uh, are another hormone that help us to feel really good and they're released with exercise and activity. So if we've gone from hiking eight to 10 hours a day, down to zero activity or zero exercise, that's gonna greatly impact um, our ability to feel good and be happy and, and, and have good wellness. So what I would suggest here is doing some really easy, low impact cardio. Um, a bike is a great option, a rower, swimming, even just a leisure walk. You're not doing 15 or 20 miles, you're not putting on a pack, you're just stepping outside, walking on the block or going to a park and getting out and around. This will really help um, regulate some, some emotions and mood and make sure that you're keeping your body active as opposed to just completely laying around and doing nothing. Uh, the third thing that we can look at is uh, seasonal affective disorder. So as hikers get home, uh, it's maybe October, August, October, September, we missed a month in there. Um, the, shortly thereafter, we're starting to see a big decline in the number of daylight hours that we have. This has been shown time and time again in research to impact our mood and all sorts of other body stressors, um, including hormone production. So a happy light is a great option here. It does help to stimulate some of the right hormones and, and biological processes that we need to stay happy and healthy uh, just as individuals. So uh, make sure you're keeping tabs on these three areas once you return. And this of course is on top of eating a good, healthy, nutritious and nutrient dense diet uh, once you return from the trail. Self-care is another area that we really need to emphasize during the hike that's gonna have a big impact after the trail. 
If you're spending time each day during your rest stops and each night in camp, stretching, massaging, working the, the lower leg muscles or hip muscles that are really stiff and tight, it's going to have an impact on how well you feel the next day as well as how well you're gonna feel at the end of your hike. So if we're spending the time and we're doing these things during our hike, it's gonna to start to have an impact on the overall wellness on the back end of our hike, which is gonna include things like stiff joints, tight muscles, um, aches, pains, that sort of thing. So learn some self-care techniques, which I've got plenty of resources on this YouTube channel, um, and uh, put those into practice during your hike and after. So hopefully you've got some new actionable items that you can put into place or prioritize during your hike to help you be a healthy hiker once you come off the trail. I know it's not super sexy to think about like post-trail life now, but the actions you take before your hike and learning how to do self-care and uh, planning some good nutritious meals is gonna make the during part much more enjoyable for you and it's gonna set you up for much better success on the back end. It's the, the hike itself is not about just enduring the miles. There's a lot that goes in before and after that's gonna impact our health and wellness long-term. We wanna make sure that we're being good stewards of our body and respecting the fact that we just hiked four or five months, 2,600 miles, 2,000 miles, whatever distance you're doing. You, uh, if you set yourself up for success now, I guarantee it's gonna make that post-trail life much more comfortable and hopefully ease some of the post-trail depression that is so common out there for hikers. With that, I'll say happy trails.